Well, here's a piece that I've been working on lately. Um, when I first picked it up, I knew it was a dynamo, but I didn't know exactly what its intended purpose was. And I uh, have since uh, found out through some other collectors that uh, this is a teaching aid or school dynamo uh, used in you know, schools and universities and such. Um, found some advertisements from the company from the late 1800s, like 1890 or so. Um, so it's, you know, probably from around the turn of the century uh, at that point. Um, but it's, uh, basically a bipolar dynamo, um, has a great big pulley wheel that you crank, and it's driven by a perforated belt, uh, which I had to have a new one made, and, um, fortunately there's a fella just north of Chicago, um, and, uh, he has a website, leatherdrivebelts.com. If uh, you need any help with any kind of leather drive belt, I highly recommend you see John about it. And uh, he helped me out greatly with this belt. And if it wasn't for him, I, I don't know where I would have gotten one made. So, thanks, John. Uh, but this thing is in pretty good original condition. There's some paint splatter on the, on the board and, and the wheel, the pulley here. But uh, the biggest problem with it was the commutator was uh, deteriorated badly when I got it. It was uh, made mostly out of a red fiber material and it had gotten wet or this thing was stored in a basement or something. It has some moisture damage on it, but not like it was out in the weather. But anyway, that commutator was crumbling and just literally fell apart. And... Uh, I got some brass tubing and some uh, Garlite rod and uh, made a new commutator for it and a uh, set of slip rings for the AC side of it. The commutator makes direct current. I don't have the uh, AC hooked up to anything right now. Um, that's one thing I still need to do a little bit of work on. But uh, other than that, it. Uh, Generates power, works perfect. Uh, there's the name of the company, Alfred L. Robbins Martin Company. Manufacturer, Chicago. Uh, it was missing every one of these thumb nuts except for one. And uh, I ended up getting some thumb screws because that was all I could find uh, that were close to the original size as far as overall diameter and, and whatnot. And I ended up putting them in the lathe and uh, drilling them and tapping them and then parting off the screw part. And so then I ended up with some thumb nuts that were roughly close to the original size. So that worked out pretty good. And uh, we'll give it a spin here and you'll see that little red light bulb light up. Once it lights up and it's making power, you can feel the drag. There's quite a bit of resistance. It takes some work to turn it over then. So, there it is. Um, not something you see every day. I'm pretty happy to have it. I found it in an antique store. And uh, initially I was told it had to do something with dentistry, but only because it came from a dentist, uh, but that's uh, pretty far from the truth. It never had anything to do with dentistry, so um, hope you enjoy this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.